Insights with Hanley Barnard, an innovative platform with mentors and great ideas. Listen to us on SoundCloud and Spotify. Click the links below. Subscribe to our channel. Claudia Schneider. Yes. Now that you know how to <laughs> say It's amazing. I love your space. Lady and Co. Thank, thank you. you for giving us your space for the day. Pleasure. It's magnificent. Some of the photographs there at the back. What I find fascinating is that you work in film yes. and not digital. No. Or I loathe digital. You loathe <laughs> digital. Yeah. All right, so you just started your own brand yes. doing film. Analog work. And I'm kind of thinking how many people specifically want film? It's becoming more and more apparent um, now, oh. the older generations going back to film, the new generations getting into it. So it's a whole amalgamation of everyone mm. getting into analog photography. Mm. Um, even if it's on the old disposable cameras that you chuck away and, you know, it's not worth much, but people are getting into it again. And that's why I'm here. But you're using <laughs> cameras that people chuck, oh, excuse my ignorance, but um, if you're taking film, you, the editing and everything is different. Can you just tell me a little bit of... It is different. So what happens is nowadays you can only buy secondhand film cameras. Right. So you get it from the good dealers, um, unless you want it restored and then you have to go find someone that actually does that kind of restoration. And then what happens is you source the film that you want to shoot on. So it's black and white or color, 35 mil, 120, four by five. There are lots of options. Crazy. And then yeah. what I do is I develop black and white film mm -hmm. and I can also hand print. Oh, wow. So from the actual negative, you go into the dark room and you make a print. So it's the old school fashion of photography and it's just the way, you know, I think all photography should be done. But it's amazing yeah. because it's not, a tr I mean, you've got your own company now that you've started. Yes. Specifically focusing on film. Yes. Not digital. No. And if I look at your prints, they're absolutely beautiful. Is it Thank from you. a film background? What made you so love your, your niche? I think it started when I was a child and my grandfather had a 35 mil camera lying around and <laughs> and I just wanted to dabble and he always dabbled in self-portraiture with my grandmother Wow! and where they traveled he used to take his 35 mil shoot them and I saw all the photographs and I was always just amazed on the aesthetic of film photography mm. and when I went and studied um, visual communication mm. In third year, I decided I am only shooting on film. You're specializing in the specific yes. field. Yes. So I started developing film in 2013 and then it just progressed mm. and progressed and I just carried on from that point and it hasn't stopped since. But as an artist, you obviously fall in love with a certain medium. Yeah, and it's a different process. It's a different process altogether. Yeah. So people go and they take digital photographs. Yeah. Gee, what do you totally think of Instagram different. when you get a little filter? <laughs> no. Filter. <laughs> filter. I want to put a filter. I want to put a filter on it. <laughs> but not in film. Um, the thing with film photography is just the aesthetic. It's a different emotion, it's a different mm. process. You put lots more love into your photographs. Yes. And you can't take a lot. One roll of 35 mil you get from 24 to 36 exposures. Oh, great. Whereas 120, which is medium format, mm. you get 12 to 16. So you must also take into consideration the cost mm. of film, because mm. it is expensive. And your time and your effort and how many photos you really need? Do because you, you need get hundreds. Two, do you need two hundred photographs? Do you mm. need two hundred no. photographs? I need maybe two. <laughs> but out of those hundreds, they then select two. Yeah, for digital. For digital, yeah. but obviously it's helped you with observing and being yes. in the moment yes. a lot of the time because you, you don't think really about have time. It more. And, okay. Yeah, you think about your shots more. 
you focus on the emotion, your composition, your lighting, everything is so much more considered in film. And it's so, it's so specialized. In this. Do you think that too many people go jack of all trades, in your opinion? Or is this... It depends what mm. market. Mm. And what is your specific market? I mean, is somebody... Portraiture. What? Portraiture. Yes. And if you say a certain emotion has to come out, what do you mean by that? The soul. My earring just <laughs> fell off. <laughs> the soul. <laughs> the soul behind the person. The soul so behind my earring. It's not, it's not a facade anymore. You're mm. breaking the barrier and you're capturing them for who but they are. But that's interesting for me about film as well. I'm going to leave my earring if you don't mind. In terms of film as well, because you're capturing certain emotions yeah. with film, so much so. And if you look at film noir and that kind of thing, yeah. is that your inspiration behind yeah. a lot of it? Yeah. But old school. Everything old school. <laughs> are you fearful of starting a new business? right now to in, a point because you've taken a big risk now you've specialized yeah. in a certain so claudia specializes in this segment which is film which is fantastic i've seen your photographs they're amazing and you've opened a studio which is yes. beautiful a month ago a month ago and so you also give workshops how do you keep yes how do you keep the ball the film on the roll that was funny. <laughs> I post, I think of ideas, I think of new workshops, but the ones that stick are darkroom workshops, so yes. film processing, how to process your own black and white mm. film, how to do your own hand printing. I teach cyanotype workshops, which is an old form of cyanotype. Cyano. Cyano. Cyanotype. Okay. It's an old form of photograms. So wow. back in history, they used to do it to um, see and document the flowers or the botanical. I things. remember those photographs. They were in. You can find so it's them in prints. Yes, it's sun prints. It's gorgeous. So it's chemicals. You put whatever you want on your medium. You put it in the sun, and you get prints. And it's nice for home decor. It's nice for gifting to someone hmm. and yeah I, I encourage other artists to use my space to host their own workshops but also what's interesting about you is you keep on having to think creatively in yes. order to survive and I think it's not just you I think everybody especially here where the the, the jobs are kind of far far and few far between. Far. so so you kind of continuously have to think of ways of yeah. promoting your brand, yeah. coming up with new ideas, seeing which ones work and which ones don't. Yeah. You know, and it's difficult. A, it is. It is. I hate marketing, <laughs> but one has to do it. In marketing right now. Yeah. In marketing right <laughs> But you know what I mean? It is, it is tricky because your yeah. brain sometimes gets tired. So what do you suggest for people with their own, I would say, specifically creative studios in terms of keeping ahead and I know you've only been on, uh, yeah. on it for a month but what have you found so far bringing other people to keep it alive collaboration yeah so you invite other people you, to do you their... get lonely if you on your own oh that's a nice line yeah. so the more people you interact with the more you just talk about everything that you do I think you know the more chance you have of actually surviving as a business do you actually network a lot, go out and speak a lot? You don't yeah. solely rely on social media. No, not at all. It's a lot of word of mouth. Word of mouth is important. Yeah. People forget about that. Yeah. It's super important. I know someone that just does business of word of mouth. And, absolutely and it can be a casual conversation. A, a Instagram page. Yeah. But it's about conversations yeah. that people are interested and in. And interact with the other companies that have been established for long. Oh. Build relationships with them. And see where it goes. Do you go and introduce yourself yes. to you? Do you knock on the door and go, hi, yes. Claudia Schneider? Yes. Like Kodak, Waterstone. Okay. So they're the only ones around here that do color film developing. Mm. But all their clients come to me for black and white processing. Okay. And then all those new clients learn what I do here. And then it just grows. But sometimes people are a little bit 
you know, this is my company and this is what I do. Instead of holding hands with other companies, because yeah. you don't do everything. You do no, a specific niche, niche yeah. market. And for that, it's, I think you're the only person in the, you're actually the only person I know personally <laughs> that does film photography, which I found yeah. fascinating seeing your stuff. So it's really about working and networking with people yes. as opposed to be solely reliant on social media and the little small filter. world we live I'm going to filter you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Claudia. No. It's all about the what real What do you think of those filters on Instagram in terms of? Oh, it's got its place. I don't use it. But no, but that's a whole difference for of, other markets. For other yes. markets, it, it, I suppose yes. it is. It is kind of um, amazing. So when when and when, it's great for people that don't know how to edit. It is. It's an easy form of editing. Were you an apprentice to somebody in terms of apprenticeship to build um, where your expertise lies today? Did you learn be out of interest? Not necessarily. Mm. So after I finished my degree in visual communication, I interned for a photographer in Cape Town. That's why I, I was wanna... his photo retoucher. That's it. Right. That lasted two and a half years. And wow. ever since mm. then, I've freelanced in between that. I've been a casting director. Mm. I've been a studio manager for advertising. So I've, I've had a, a cookie from every jar. <laughs> and now you've got a big jar. <laughs> and I've got a big <laughs> in jar. In a cookie machine that I love. It was time. So I was tired of being freelance. People take you a lot more seriously when they can come to a business. I see. Instead of come to my house, you can drop put your film off. <laughs> Specifically in what you do, freelancing yeah. is super. Yeah, super and you also tricky. don't want everyone to know where you live. No, it crosses a boundary it does. of it does. professionalism, and having a bigger space where I can actually teach people is amazing because that's what yes. I love to do. But I've always liked the beauty of a space, like a, a space that is sacred that is yours and it's interesting it's that there's, if you want to rent a space it's 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 quite here. cool to have a space for people to rent yeah. to use their to and use it's amazing stuff. when you know when other people can come into a space because they don't have one or they don't have the f the funds or the means to have their own mm, space mm. and they might only need it once a month you don't need it every day and no. it's also in your privacy and your awkward <laughs> <laughs> that keeps on <laughs> my old monkey you're, you're table. You're all good. <laughs> um, I, yeah. Because we can use a cut point. I've got an interesting question. Yes. Um, maybe like, what has um, shooting on, on film taught you about life? Oh, that's nice. And also, does, <clears throat> does uh, using old shooting methods has that translated in you using like word of mouth, like old business methods? Oh, oh all right. Know, so wisdom in like older things. Okay. Mm. So um, Cameron just had an interesting question. So if, uh, what has working on film taught you about life? It has taught me to take in the small things, appreciate the small things. Mm. Things take time and you need to have okay. patience. And a lot of people want satisfaction now mm. and it's not always a good thing. But you it's know, good instant, things take time. Instant gratification that yeah. We are learning to get used to. Mm. That doesn't really apply doesn't to you. Doesn't work for me. Not for what you do. No. What I do takes very long. It's a lot of patience. And you need, your, you, you need to appreciate the old ways of doing things. So if we say the old ways, yes. how do you apply business in the old ways with what you're doing? And you were saying that you network a lot. Mm. And that you introduce yourself to people mm. a lot. I think social media has put like a halt to people actually talking to one another mm. and it's becoming all on your phone or your computer and face-to-face -face interaction is still the best means of marketing. It is because if I think yeah. of business and you meet somebody and you it's 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 actually wholly having an interaction with somebody yeah. and be able to and I mean, it's, it's one thing posting on social media, 
with no personality behind it, unless you're really good at marketing. Yes, yes, which is um, great. Yeah, which yeah, is fine, yeah. but n not all of us are. Mm. So that face-to-face, in-person mm. meeting is a lot better, and you can actually talk a lot more mm. than you will just in a small little post that people don't actually read, because people don't like to read. They like to look at your film. Yes. <laughs> But I mean, even if you live in a big city, yeah. you go to people and you introduce yourself. And I've heard that yeah. several times, that that is actually, I mean, that's how I met you. It's, it's so I think that's first. an old school way of doing things well, compared it's to a, now. Compared to now. Yes. And, and you can apply that. And then also when we said what you learn about life in terms of what you mm. do, and it takes more time. Yeah. When you say time, is it the actual shooting time as well as the time it took you to prepare um, to be where you are today? It's more the aftermath. So, so after time, the shoot, yes. it's loading the tank, it's the chemicals, it's the ratios, it's the temperature, it's rinsing your film, developing, rinsing, fixing, and then letting it dry. And So how, you hang it up, Yes. you let it dry, and then you can touch your negatives with gloves, <laughs> fabric gloves, <laughs> and then you can look at your negatives, your photographs. And then what happens is you can either use that to hand print mm. or you can scan it in in a film scanner, which is great for nowadays because people want to see their photographs on their phone or for social media purposes. So that's a great way to get it digitized. Get it digitized from yes. the film to, yes. to digital. And then you see your photographs after all the time that you've taken. And it's great. It's a lot more satisfaction. It's not only the look. No. It's also the satisfaction. Yes. It's everything. Would I see the difference between... Yes. Okay, I'm seeing... Yes. I specifically it's lighting. the grain. The grain. The grittiness like behind it. Like digital is, is pixels. Mm. Whereas... Film is grain, so it mm. depends on the film you're using, what type of grain, how you're developing, depends on the grain. Okay. Um, and you need to use a specific film for what you're doing and what look you want, because Crazy. every different film has a different look. Mm. And it's just, there's a lot more thought. There's a lot more thought that goes behind yeah. it, as well as the, the concept. and. These photographs but you can and also the framing yes. and, and all of that, it just seems to me like I can touch the person more. The person's yeah. more alive. alive. The, the yes. emotion is really reading yes. through. And in terms of your photography, do you sell it? This is also an exhibition space. I do. Mm. I don't advertise it. On social media. No. <laughs> but I encourage people to come. I think it's nice because then you see the space and you do see the person. Yeah. And you do, do see... We have a lot of people waving you to the studio. <laughs> but you do see the person behind the camera and you put your own personality into yes. it. I find it's hard to find photographers sometimes. I'm sorry, is Richard short? Richard is fairly. Okay, I think he came to look. Oh. oh. Claudia Schneider. <laughs> she wants to <laughs> enjoy your filming. Thank you. And it was wonderful. Thanks for And it's lovely me. to speak to an expert such as yourself with a beautiful studio that I absolutely love sitting in. Thank you. Wunderbar.